What's up, Savvy Expats? Today, we're diving into the 10 reasons on why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines. All right, without wasting time, let's get into it. So kicking off this list, the first reason on why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines is because of the people. Hospitality, kindness, outgoing, chill, and approachable are just a few words to describe the Filipino people. And so it's no wonder why Filipinos make up a third of all cruise ship employees. It's in their nature to be exceedingly accommodating. They're the kind of people that will make you feel at home in a place foreign to you. The kind of people that will feed you as well as your grandmother does and the kind of people you can easily get along with. One question I always get is, will I be able to strike up a conversation with a Filipino or do they have bad perceptions of foreigners? And the answer to that is yes, you will without a doubt be able to get a good conversation going with a Filipino. What you'll likely appreciate about Filipinos is how lighthearted and chill they are. Upon meeting them, it's very easy to crack jokes and tease each other as if it's an old time friend. But just be careful because some jokes may get lost in translation and may lead to an offense. But all in all, unlike other countries where when you meet somebody, they're very cold faced and they're probably thinking, oh, what does he want from me? Here in the Philippines, you can easily strike up a conversation, have a laugh, smile, and enjoy each other's company. And one thing I've always admired about Filipinos is that they're not camera shy. A lot will act shy and pretend to be scared to pick up the mic and sing, but as soon as they do, they go full morale. I carry on you. Another thing that gives us immeasurable peace living here is the absence of political drama. What I like about Filipinos is even if they disagree with one another's political candidate, they can still be friends. At the end of the day, there's still one nation, one family, and one people. Whereas in the US and the contrary, countless relationships are torn because of a disagreement in political beliefs. It's as if we can't be friends if you like this president and I like this president. But when you're in the Philippines, the people are usually outgoing and typically don't care about your political beliefs. What they really care about is if you like to eat as much as they do because if you do, it's on. So living in the Philippines is not the kind of place where you have to walk on eggshells when it comes to politics. Not to mention what adds to the peace about living here is that the people are very family oriented. Instead of work being prioritized like in the West, family is prioritized. So in turn, you'll see that people care about each other, they feed each other, and they help each other out. Even if you're not family, they will make you feel like you are. So it goes without saying, but the people make up a tremendous part about a peaceful life in the Philippines. Also, quick disclaimer, a peaceful life also depends on where you live. If you live in a place that's loud, congested, and smelly, don't expect to feel peace. If you live in a clean city or a nature-filled province, however, you will likely feel peace. And another thing it seems like I have to clear up is that I'm not forcing you to come to the Philippines just because I make a positive video about the upsides of moving here doesn't mean that I'm taking your hand and saying, come on, you have to come here right this second. But anyways, the second reason on why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines, that is the sit-down restaurants. This is a point that's often gone undiscussed in the Philippines, but it's an amazing aspect aspect about living here. You see, in many Western countries like in the US, it's in the culture to get up and go as soon as you're done eating at the restaurant. You may have even experienced getting shooed away by the restaurant staff for the next set of customers to take your table. Whereas in places like Europe and here in the Philippines, dining is much more of a sit down experience. You don't have to get up as soon as you're done with your meal and it's part of the culture to socialize for a couple more hours. You can stay seated, relax and enjoy the company. One of my favorite routines is getting brunch with my family on Sunday at one of our favorite restaurants called Nono's here in BGC City. We can eat a meal, enjoy a coffee afterwards, and converse for hours without interruption. Chances are in the US, you'll get glares from the staff for you guys waiting too long or the waiter will give you your bill too early. But here in the Philippines, the waiters won't typically give you your bill until you ask for it or even just a little bit later. This is because it's part of the culture for the people to socialize after the meal or just have a dessert. So you'll find that there's no rush and it's far more normal to relax and let loose during mealtime. Now moving on to reason number three, your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines that is the slower paced lifestyle. I've discussed this topic many times in the past and this can be a double edged sword for most people. On one side, expats get annoyed with how slow things are ran here and then on the other side, it's quite peaceful and relaxing. At times, it can be a breath of fresh air, a reminder that you can slow down and there's no rush. I'll admit, sometimes we just can't handle the slow pace of life but at the same time, we do appreciate it. This is 
also similar to places like Spain where they have their siesta time to nap and take time to their family. And so when expats come here to the Philippines, it's often the first time in a while that they just relax, let their shoulders down, and feel less tensed up. Here, you can slow down, chill, take a deep breath, and relax. Because as you know in the US, it's just go, go, go. Not only can living in the Philippines contribute to you aging slower, but it also brings a good perspective to what truly matters in life. Because as the infamous Ferris Bueller has once said, life moves pretty fast, and if you don't stop to look around once in a while, you can miss it. Now, moving on to the fourth reason why your life can be more peaceful in the Philippines that is because of the tight-knit community. One thing I admire about the Philippines is how tight-knit everybody is. Yes, we all like our personal privacy, but at the same time, the sense of community here makes Filipinos very caring people. They look out for each other, they attend to one another's needs, and you can count on a Filipino to fill your belly. It's the kind of place where you can knock on your close neighbor's door and ask if they want to join you for a drink. The kind of place where they don't really care who you are and they'll invite you in for a meal. The kind of place where everybody knows each other and gets along, usually. And so even when I go to the park to work out, it's a norm to greet everybody and give each other a fist bump. Oftentimes they'll invite me into their workout routine or give me some pointers. And so if there's one thing that you'll notice about Filipinos, that is how tight knit they are as a community. Now moving on to reason number five, your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines, that is less drama. If you live in an environment where it's tense, you have toxic relationships, and there's a lot of division, then the Philippines can be a great getaway from that. Most people here are on one accord on how they operate. I don't mean it in a rude way, but there's a sheep mentality where everybody follows the crowd here. So this can be tough if you like to do things your own way, but at the same time, there's a lot less arguing here because of that. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to paint the picture as if the Philippines is fairy tale land and nothing bad has ever broken out. I have seen Filipinos argue over the smallest things. Okay. I don't want to talk to you because you don't understand me. Whoa, well, hello. I don't speak Tagalog, please. But in general, drama here is a lot to a lesser degree. Now for the sixth reason why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines that can't be missed, that is ditching the rat race. For many expats moving to the Philippines, the case is that they're either retiring or they're sick of the 9 to 5. So ditching the rat race for retirement or semi-retirement will without a doubt lead to a more peaceful life. As opposed to being in a corporate or work environment, you can be in a nice city or a beach environment here in the Philippines. If you're sick of the 9 to 5 and you just want to live a simple and chill life, then the Philippines is your place. Now moving on to the seventh reason why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines, that is the low lower expenses. Of course, when you're not worried about making your rent or how much you're spending each month, your life will naturally feel more at peace. When you're living in the Philippines where expenses are substantially lower, you can have peace of mind knowing that you're not reaching the pit of your wallet each month. And just the fact that you can set aside money each month to get ahead is fantastic. So to be able to live in a country where your expenses are much lower will definitely give you peace. Moving on to the eighth reason why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines Philippines, that is safety. Of course, there's no peace without safety. And some of you may be wondering, Evan, I thought the Philippines wasn't safe. Well, this is often what you're told, but if you stay out of the sketchy areas and you just have some common sense, you'll be just fine. As a matter of fact, as I've spoken of in my past video, I feel more safe here in the Philippines than in the US. Not only is it because I live in a safe city, but also because the US has become increasingly dangerous to live in. It seems as if there's more anarchy than ever ever in the US. So at least for me, I have peace of mind knowing that I live in a safe place. Where I live, I can easily go out at night and go for a walk and I'll be just fine. This doesn't mean that I walk willy nilly and I flaunt wads of cash, but I know that I live in a place that's not dangerous. Now if you compare that to walking around Chicago in the middle of the night, there's no guaranteeing your safety. So overall, safety here in the Philippines was never a problem for us and likely won't be one for you either. Moving on to the ninth reason why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines, that is the house help. A nice aspect about living in the Philippines is the affordability of house help. If you're from a Western country, not only are you able to afford a maid, nanny, or driver, but you'll also be helping someone else out. Imagine never having to do the dishes, the laundry, or house chores. 
This will save you a lot of time during the day, and if you have kids, you can hire a nanny to help take care of them. So house help without a doubt makes life much easier in the Philippines. Now for the 10th and last reason why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines, that is the weather and nature. This of course had to be included because of the tropical weather, nature, and beaches here is very soothing to be around. If you live in a cold, wet, and dark place, I can promise you that your mood will be uplifted when you experience the weather here in the Philippines. It's most often sunny outside, it's warm, and it uplifts your spirits. Not to mention, you don't have to be cooped up in the house all day, you can go out and explore the Philippine nature. Whether it be going out to the beach, a walk around the nature, or soaking up the sun, this will probably even add some years to your life. So overall, the weather and nature will contribute to a more peaceful life in the Philippines 100%. So there you have it, Tevi expats. Those are the 10 reasons on why your life will be more peaceful in the Philippines. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.